Alright, welcome guys, it's Music 61 here with my full comprehensive guide on how to manually install BeatTogether and multiplayer extensions or multi-quest extensions depending on your platform. Um, this guide is meant to be as version independent as possible. I will be updating all of the information that is version dependent in the description as time goes on. If there's a massive overhaul in the way that you manually install mods, I will be putting outdated in the video title. I'll be linking the new version of this. Manual installs are not as hard as they sound, trust me, it's just dragging and dropping files for most of it. You just have to know where to go, and that's what I'm here for. So without further ado, let's get into things, starting with the P quest side, we will get to the PC side after we're done with that. I will have timestamps in the description, so let's go. So both of the guides start here, in the install instructions page on the Beat Together Community Discord server, which I have linked in the description. Keep in mind that I will always link all the direct links to download these mods as well, but I'm just starting my guide here. So for the quest installation, we have the Beat Together GitHub repository link, which we're going to click on. And we can see that, um, at least at the time of writing, it's not in quest board. We're using manual anyway. So up here, right here, we have this releases section, which will always contain at the top the uh, version for the latest release, which at the time of recording this video is 1.17.1. Check the version uh, linked. Or check the description. I will have the version that it works for for Quest in there, along with the Be Together version. But all we need to do is click on this BeTogether.qmod file and download it. Next, if we want custom songs, which I imagine most of you watching this video probably will, we need to go back to our Be Together repository. Go down to the bottom into where it says custom song support, we need a second mod multi quest extensions. Click on this link here, go to the releases pages of this one, which is directly below the top here, and click on the latest one. At the time this is multi quest extension 0.1.1, for beats 1.17.1. I will be updating all this stuff for the description as it changes. I'm trying to make this as version, um, a, the least amount of version dependent as I can, so it should work across versions. So grab the key mod. And download it. We're not done yet, but we will be very soon. The next thing we'll need to do is grab our quest. Okay, so for the next part, now that you've downloaded the QMods on your computer, you need to go into your quest. So we're gonna go ahead and go into our unknown sources tab and hit PMB. So now we have this window that I'm actually going to enlarge to make what I'm going, trying to show a little easier to see. Now, you're gonna hit the tools tab. Because in order to do this, you need to have a computer or a phone, and you need to be able to go to that URL right there. So it says accessible via browser at HTTP, and then my local IP address. No, I didn't leak my IP. It's a local IP address. It's fine. And you need to type that into your browser, and it'll pop up with a page, which I will show you now. Okay, so I have this IP. It's, keep in mind that this IP will be different for you than anybody else. So it'll be HTTP, that local IP, and then um, a colon and 50,000 at the end. So once you input this into your browser, it'll bring up this little upload page. And all you do is you press this upload files button, go to wherever you put the files, click open, it'll, it'll install, um, cue the install for one, go to the other, cue the install, press sync to Beat Saber, and you're done. That's it, you've installed everything. The key thing to remember during this is that you must have the quest screen on on the BMBF tools tab for this site to pop up. If you don't, if you don't have the quest on and to the BMBF page, like with the screen on, it will not work. It's super annoying. If this site refuses to load and you have, you're sure you have the right IP, make sure it's on the same Wi-Fi, as well as if it doesn't work after that, just reach it. It does it. It's weird sometimes. Um, but that's it for the quest installation. Okay, for the PC side, we start in the exact same place. So, we have the Be Together installation, install instructions. I will have all the links in here in the description, as usual. We'll list the versions of the mods and the version that they work on. As of now, the mod works anywhere in the version window of 1.17.1 to 1.18.3. Check the version ranges in the description. So first off, we're going to click the Beat Together installation for PC right here. It's not available through Mod Assistant at the moment, that's why we're doing this install. Download the latest mod from our releases and it says click here. Otherwise, you can go up and click releases just like before. 
but they have it directly linked. So you grab the be together zip, and you can see I already have it, but we're going to replace it just for fun. How about that? And then we're going to go back to our Discord server and grab multiplayer extensions. Do the same thing. I'm going to go here, go to releases, grab multiplayer extensions 0.6.2 at the time. I'll be listing the versions in the description and grab the zip file. Again, I'm just going to replace it. Don't mind me. And then now that it's downloaded, we'll close this. Next, we're going to go into where we downloaded these mods and go into the folder, into this plugins folder, and grab the DLL. And you're just, you're just going to want to rip this, shove it on your desktop or something. Just replace it from plugins to desktop. You have multiplayer extensions, DLL, right here. And then we're going to go and do the exact same thing with B together. Right here. We've got both of these here. And then you're going to go into your Steam directory for Beat Saber, or wherever you have it installed. If it is, for example, a Beat Saber Legacy install, it'll be this plugins folder, like that. But if you're on Steam Beat Saber, you press, you go right click, go to Manage, Browse Local Files, it'll open this, this plugins folder here, and all you do is copy the files. and paste. That's it. That's all you need to do. Um, if you're on Oculus, I think I'm just going to use another game, dummy game as a test. Like if I go to Echo VR, details, location, and you can use the file location here, they tell you. Or I think you can also go to library. There's a uh, what game do I have on the Oculus Store? Pistol Whip. Start in VR Move, Hide, Uninstall. I don't think you can do it, but they give you the um, file location to go for. And it'll just be the plugins folder, the first plugins folder in the Beat Saber directory. Um, don't go into Beat Saber data, it's not that one, it's the first one. So just, just to reiterate, if we go back to our Steam Beat Saber install, which is right here, browse local files. Uh, this plugins folder, right as you open it, not the one in Beat Saber data. It's a mistake I see really, really often, and it will result in the mod not even attempting to load. It won't work. But that's it for the entire installation on PC. It's just, there are a couple common pointers that I'd like to get. At the time of writing, which is uh, New Year's Eve of 2021, there is massive server jank. Quick play is 100% broken. I will be posting again the status of this in the description as it goes as time goes on. Quick play is 100% broken. Creating rooms and joining them will sometimes give you a CFR3 error. It'll tell you to check your internet connection. If that happens, just try it 10 times. If that doesn't work, use a VPN or a hotspot. Um, it's just general server jank and a fix is in the works, but it does take time. Um, other than that. The quest, if you're crashing, there's this really weird glitch where um, any uh, any other mod, any other mod at all, any mod, can be incompatible, and it's random for every person, and it'll cause crashes when you start a song in multiplayer. So you have to test it yourself. If you get crashes, disable one of the mods you don't want or don't need, or if you do, then just disable it and see what happens, and run your game and check if the crash is still there. If it is, disable another, and another, and another, and you have to keep doing that until you find out which mod is the culprit. Um, other than that, I don't think there are any other pointers. Hope you enjoyed everybody. Hit the like button. Helps me out a lot. Um, hope everybody enjoyed. Hope this guide helps you. Um, without further ado, this is Mito61, signing off. Have a good day, everybody.